and like Great. friendlies and stuff. So they expected. Still the Wally. Yeah. And this is a uh, this is a wild matchup because uh, Zelda has the most ridiculous normals in the entire game and a reflector to deal with all of Waluigi's bullcrap that he just throws around. But Waluigi is is just Waluigi. He just does the funny buttons. Oh, okay. I thought the two was going to kill him for a second. I can't lie. I oh, yeah. So, so I can imagine this is just like, yeah, you get hit by Zelda's moves, the moves that do way too much damage, and then you die. So uh, Waluigi works kind of like a pseudo zoner. Like he has zoning options, but he can be played uh, either way as a rushdown mm -hmm. or a zoner. He's uh, very unique in that sense. Yeah, he's got his plant, which is kind of its own little thing. If you get really close to it, it grabs you and throws you towards wherever Walu is. But I know it kill. Ab oh, kills. the side B is nice. Yep. Side that's, B. That's another Didn't fire. Kind of crazy in this game. Up smash. Uh, Zelda's up smash in this game is ridiculous. It's actually just an entire neutral option. You can just play neutral up smash. <laughs> it's pretty broken. It's a super fast multi-hit. Uh, does like a bunch of damage. Combos into itself on fast fallers. True. Combos into like up air, fair, back air, really whatever you want. Okay, fourth throw yeah, here. Throw it. Definitely gonna take that. Alright. The thing about uh, the thing about uh fighting um fighting Zelda as well is you can't really just zone Zelda out completely. She still has options against the. Oh, oh that's, that's cool. incredible up B. That's yeah, it's a uh, reverse uh, Luigi up B. It's strong at the end and really weak at the beginning. Okay. Got it. It's kind of a silly move because the hitbox sounds... is actually really big. Yeah, that sounds really annoying. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's hard to deal with with recovery too because it will um it won't snap ledge. It will just put out the hitbox right above ledge and you can't really do much about it. I think you can Marth killer it actually, but. Not many people will mock killer because it's super risky to mock killer. Right. Something something to mention also is that uh, it it thankfully the uppies hits do not confirm into each other, so you have to oh, like right there. The up oh, okay. okay. Yeah, the uppie hit there and almost killed Zelda at 70, which you know Zelda's a lightweight and super floaty, but still. Smash. That's 70%. Oh, does not get the read on the D either. Definitely one of the the most the more wacky characters in the game though. Yep, dice just being silly in general because dice are just. Are they transcendent still? I think they're transcendent still. Uh, no, you can clink dice. You can. Okay, you, dice. you can clink them now. But these, I think they used to be transcendent. But yeah, they're they're silly. There's these big blocky projectile things that do a random effect, kind of like a throwable game and watch hammer. Uh huh. That's, That's what I'm really... looking at right now. Yeah, I don't know how high the number goes. I've just seen one through four. Uh, it, it the one through six. And one through six. Yeah, but six is really unlikely. It's um. Like a one in like twenty chance or something. I don't know the numbers, but it's really Got unlikely. It. But number six, if you get hit by it, it's, it's like, like a hit by game in Watch Nine. It's very strong. Got it. It's actually not that strong. I think it's actually a good bit weaker than Game Watches Nine, but it's still like for if you're at seventy, you get blown up. Mm. For a projectile, you can run away with. That's still really good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll no, take it's, those odds. I'll take those odds. You know. It's it's crazy to zone with. Okay. Well, we've been talking though. Uh, Lerman's taking a slight lead here. Gonna need something if you're. Um... Oh yeah, jab, F smash yeah. on shield. You oh, have that to was a really that. good up smash. That doesn't, side doesn't get, still doesn't get the kill. And uh, up smash into a side B is a real kill confirm. Even though it looks like a, it looks like Walu should be able to jump out. Jump out. Mm -hmm. There no, is totally just real. that much hit stun. Yeah. <laughs> up smash is a silly move. It's like Man. the only thing that keeps Zelda viable. Oh! There's a mix. So that's okay. what I say. That's how you get hit by a six. You take that much percent knockback, and that was at what he got hit by at like thirty. That was at like thirty. Like yeah, almost died. Took twenty damage. So, so that's gonna have to do some here. He's gonna oh, have to. I mean, that'll do kill. it. Sixty-four yeah, percent seems like a lot against Waluigi. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So the great thing about Zelda is you have options against like Waluigi just pressing oh, his no. zoning buttons. Oh, oh the neutral be oh. coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Which will be interrupting the F smash. I was so clutch. Oh yeah, also, while Luigi is very slippery, much like Luigi in whatnot, so. Oh, Nair. Fly it. It's a fair. I'd be. Gets a Din fair oh. too. Yeah. Pretty classic combo oh, stuff. Six. Yeah, Shield did the six though, so you're big chillin'. 
Oh. Luckily, okay, it does okay. like no shield damage. Oh, the up smash. Up air? Is that it? Yeah. Oh, oh I'll do it. Oh. Yeah, up smash up air, super strong. Really nice comeback from Zelda there. Zeldad. Zelfather. Zelfather. Oh, that's okay. That's an inside joke. Uh, that's an inside joke. Uh, All right. <laughs> so Come on, Doc. You gotta, you gotta do something. I like how he, how he just eventually just actually changed his uh, his tag though, after time. Uh. All right, game number two. Battlefield. I love Battlefield. It's a great stage. Don't know who it benefits more because I'm not super familiar with either of these characters besides knowing how to like fight them, but not like to play them. So it's definitely one of the weirder matchups in this game. Oh yeah. Ooh. And Walu kind of underrepresented, I feel like, after uh, Nos stopped playing Walu in like early 1.2. We had Velo for a bit, but uh, Velo doesn't oh, yeah. play as much now. And obviously, there's like Ooh. no top Zeldas, so. It was maybe uh, Silver when he was playing him, but yeah, I don't but... think Silver's played Zelda in a <laughs> while. Oh, also, this fire is just like oh. it's just incredibly silly. You can, yeah, yeah, that was I saw that that last part was just true. It's yeah, there's not a whole lot you can do. You can jump air dodge, but if you don't have a jump, then you have to hold it. Uh, let's go. Or, or if you're playing like a character like with a float cancel, you can float cancel stuff out of it. Oh. Great thing into the into the fair. I don't even know what to call that move. I just know it's a dice block. And it's, it's a, a neutral B. Neutral B. Okay. Sure. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, That's dice nice. is generally what people call it. Got it. It's just a silly, silly little, silly little block with some silly properties. Ooh, big down air. Should be big damage. Ah, oh, not able to quite convert there though. Is Zelda there just too strong? That's the thing about Zelda is you've probably seen like what we've been uh what we've been oh, watching. Down tilt. Is, uh, she gets down all tilt. Of... Ahead, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh Waluigi's down tilt is um a multi hit spike move. It's very silly. Very, very, very. Well the forward smash just he just does a raw forward smash to cover neutral get up. Yeah. And now you can just Sliding jump away. There. There's also uh, some very important to mention in this game is uh so base mage, you know what a like tournament winner is, right? Like uh, uh, you, you, when you jump from ledge, right? Or something like that. Yeah, it's jump from ledge. Yeah, that animation doesn't exist. It just you you immediately jump from the ledge. Mm -hmm. There's no animation for it. I see. So that's uh, just, it's a good option. Mm -hmm. Very very spammable, but there's counterplay because you can obviously throw out hit boxes on the uh, above ledge in that mm -hmm. zone. Oh, Jab just calls a calls out the drop shield with down smash. Yeah, Pass Jab on shield is super okay. safe. It's um, because of Zelda's grounded frame data is just so strong. Mm -hmm. Like her smash attacks are all super fast, and her jab is super good on shield that you can just do that stuff. You can do like jab up, smash on shield, jab F, smash on shield, and it's just pretty much you have to respect it. Or covers covers to the platform, still gets hit. The dice doesn't hit. There's a plant on the platform. There's just a lot of zoning tools right there, but it doesn't matter if you just get a little up, if you get an up smash like that. Yeah. That's Some another of thing. Biggest tools. The uh, Waluigi is definitely one of those characters who could ledge trap really well. Um, oh, nice grab. Really nice ledge grab. There. I was wondering when we'd see that come out because uh, Walu's recovery is very sort of like if you can force him to pick an option that's easily uh, coverable for your character, either recovering high or recovering low, it actually is pretty exploitable. He doesn't have like a crazy amount of mix-ups. Uh, into, into, into bear, doesn't get that didn't fire. Let's call it there. Be, oh, it doesn't get the up bear, that's unfortunate. But I mean, you're still in the lead. Doesn't really matter too much. Oh yeah, Zeldad's big, chilling in this situation. Let's go to lead? Yep. Yeah. Try to anti-air, but... Walu legs are just too strong, oh, no. I guess. Oh, Battlefield, Battlefield ledge. Man. We love it when the Battlefield ledge is the Battlefield ledge. That's another thing about SF2 is since there's a since there's no like circles, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, stage geometry can get very very wild sometimes. I think this and uh, Battlefield and Battlefield SV and Final Destination are the biggest examples of that. Oh yeah. Got it. Oh, all, all the poison. All the stages that have walls that you can ride up, like uh, 
uh, Tower of Salvation, Yoshi's Story, super easy because you can ride the wall and just snap ledge, but otherwise it can be pretty hard to find that ledge. Ooh, just try Zelda. Zelda. We'll get up. Zelda's recovery is not super great at snapping ledge from, like, upwards angles. This is very tough now because both, uh, both... Oh, tries oh. Yeah, both oh. players will die to just about any strong move from, from the other right now. Oh, yeah. As I say, uh, all Zelda has to really find is like a sweet spot forward there and should blow up Waluigi pretty easily. And I like the idea here from Lerman to try and use the plant to um to ledge trap, but just not not able to quite get him. Oh my god, the F smash missed. What? I think that's basic. Oh, also, yeah, Zelda you can go for back throw if he finds the grab. Does oh, he finally? Boy smash takes it. A little bit of punish for the kids. All right, so I'll probably expect uh, another triplat here. I don't know if I'm Lermans, I'm I'm heading to a flat stage. <laughs> I want my plant to do as much work as possible. Oh yeah. You don't want to give anyone any platforms to run away from my beautiful friend, the plant. Hey, look, That's a flat great. stage. <laughs> and actually, this makes a lot more sense when you think about it because with uh, Zelda's lack of mobility. Having to jump around, uh, when you have to jump around that much and you don't really have that much airspeed, it's kind of rough sometimes. Because you're always that forced plant. to jump to that plant. Yep. But now that plant is just gonna, it's just gonna sit there until it gets knocked out. Zelda has some tools to deal with the plant being there, like uh, forward smash, <coughs> forward air, various options to break the plant, but it still doesn't mean you want to be breaking the plant. Ooh, the dense fire into a smash Yeah, I'm too strong. Zelda's uh, power shields have been really on point this game. Well, oh, as yeah. I say that, this is Oh, it dips a spike down air. Up smash in the up air, dense fire. Yeah, something. Get it. When you're playing Zelda, you always want to do a little bit of a chase, either with uh, an aerial or with dense fire, but sometimes mm -hmm. they're at that percent where they're just too far away. Right. Okay. It's a ledge there. Oh, six. six hits? Yep. Yeah. Connecting with the six. It's a big, uh, a big stroke of luck for Lermans, literally. It is odds based. Oh, it doesn't get a dense fire. Yeah, now it's just all. Yeah, Lermons is just chilling in the corner, just trying to get a nice setup. With the poison, that's so much damage. Oh, it doesn't get the oh, upbeats. Yeah. It doesn't. He doesn't yeah, get the kill. kill. But if so it connected, much... dead. Yeah. Raid really downer gets the dice. Yeah, this ledge trap. Roll. Yeah, and the other smash. guys for ledge trapping is just so strong. So I can imagine it's kind of weird seeing uh, Plant used as a as a special in this game when he's like a whole character in Ultimate. Well, he's like half a character in Ultimate, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, so I was about to say just to make sure. Oh, the L. Yeah. <laughs> Hold that L. Yep. The reversal by just recovering. Yep. You gotta respect it or have an option or a plan because there's a lot of ways you can deal with it, but getting hit by it is not one of the plans you should have. <laughs> so much damage there. Quick 58. Weird plant stuff. I want to see Zelda to go for more grabs. I think he's not grabbing enough. Zelda grabs so good. Up throw is so broken. Oh, catches a jump but didn't get it. That's unfortunate for Zelda. Especially because of how big the lead is. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to get hit. That's so risky. Like, yeah, that's great if you hit oh. the down tilt spike. But if you miss if it and get trained? hit by the L... Or trade, yeah, you're just gonna die. So you gonna get it there and not quite yet. CF smash. Wow, he's still alive. So and there's the dense there. fire. Uh, wants the strong back air, but gets the weak hit. Back throw uppy? Oh, Zelda too floaty. True. Back throw uppy is one of those, uh, like, DI check moments. Uh, mm -hmm. So basically, F throw and uh, back throw is uh, Waluigi. They have very similar animations. Like, if you want to know which way you were thrown, you really got to look at which way uh, Wally was facing before he threw you. Because the, mm -hmm. they look exactly the same. But back throw, if you DI in on back throw, it sets up nearly perfectly for up B uh, with a lot of characters. Okay. Yeah, that sort of ledge trap situation super hard for Zelda to deal with. Not a lot of options off ledge. And this is once again where it's so tough. Like, we saw even earlier with, like, the... The... 
the Isaac versus MK matchup when a character who has the zoning tools gets a lead, it's so tough to get in sometimes. Yeah, I mean it's three stocks two and there's four minutes. There's like four minutes on the clock. Oh, right the now. Sheik switch. Oh, I like the Sheik oh. switch. No, I is... don't blame it. Uh, oh I mean, it no, I was gonna say like Zelda's problem at the moment is like the fact like... that she's super slow and Sheik is yeah. really fast. So you might be able to run in hit like a Nair conversion or something, yeah. but. Uh, nope. Now loyal to the Zelda, you threw a, no matter what the situation. Down smash? Nope. Yeah, when one is done it. playing the game, he is <laughs> going to sit on the platform, and there is nothing you can do from what it looks like. Yeah, the platforms are such in a way where sitting on that platform can be a real, a real pain for a lot of characters to deal with. Yeah. Especially a Zelda when you have such low mobility, it's so tough. Oh, just oh. mistimes it too. Oh, the le the plant almost led trapping perfectly there. Yeah, plant not perfect, but it tries its best. I thought the one if that was a six. I was gonna, I would feel for my man. Yeah, or a five. The pitfall. Looking yeah. crazy. Oh, it's just so hard. It's so it looks yeah, so this, hard. Yeah, this, this is looking like it's just definitely over. There's this, absolutely yeah. no way like. Lormont has the mental edge, the damage, there's just yeah, no way. Uh, like, you get the game. If I'm Zelda, I'm thinking just next game because you are still up. It is 2-1. to one. You don't really need to be too mad. Yeah, you get your counter pick twice in a row, so... You can be big chilling on your favorite stage, and if you somehow manage to lose that, you can go to the same one, or a different one even. It's your pick. Here he goes here, WarioWare. This makes sense. Want to limit that uh, mobility. So yeah. you're already your character with uh, low mobility. So less stage is probably good for you. Yeah, slow slow uh, character. Oh, he's dead. Oh, yeah. Great Zelda's down there. there. One of the strongest spikes in the game. I believe the strongest is still Peach's down tilt because that's a mm. silly move. But yeah. <laughs> yeah Technic, the technical is here. Oh, oh, it oh, kills wow. the WarioWare. Yep, where you wear small ass blast zones. Oh wait, I uh, for some reason I'm keeping every single hit's gonna be it because it's Wario Wear. <laughs> I mean, it's it might be. Yeah, <laughs> so really have such strong be. kill moves. Yeah, that's what I'm meaning. I feel like if like for one like two interactions and then they're at kill percent if they play yep. their cards right. Great yeah, if, um, if like if Zelda gets a grab and goes through like up throw up air, it might actually kill at this percent. I feel like a six will just kill anywhere now, even though it's unlucky. Like, even though it's like lucky to get. Yeah. A six definitely kills here. But because of how many dice you throw out, just because it's such yeah. a good zoning tool, you're gonna right. get one eventually. Yeah, you'll like I've seen like two to three in each game, so like at least you get it. It's like the uh, the peach player logic, where it's like, sure, special turnips are super rare, but if I pull a lot of turnips, I have more chances, and eventually I'll get one. It is that is true in a few matchups, but yeah, I go I get what you're yeah. saying. I mean, obviously not the same because Peach Turnip is not nearly the same as Waluigi Dice, but yeah, the, the concept for probability the is the same. Right. Also, SSF2 RNG is, um... Oh, oh boy, it's... the Dinspire hits! Yep. It's again. Too strong. Now it's you... that's turn to sit on the platform. Oh no, they're mom. Smash? I was about to say, no. I would... Keep going in, you know, you're... Oh, the... Zelda's obviously finding like a lot of neutral wins, a lot of openings, so I feel like just keeping up the pressure is not necessarily a bad idea. The, I just realized this is such a good counter pick because that up smash covers like the entire platform. Yeah, like, no, it definitely them. does. Crazy aggression right now, just like completely outplaying in neutral. Absolutely, oh, like, such no a good damage is taken until that, it's crazy zero to death. Down smash, crazy. Oh, you've never really seen down smash until you've seen it kill a spacey at 20. <laughs> That's true, that's true. Wow. I was about to say, this could be like up near up air stuff. The up smash into back air. Doesn't get a dim fire though. Oh my god, this I was is about to say, a clean 50 though. Turn. Back air. Disjoints. Ooh. Disjoints too strong. You snipe him out. Oh, oh, I, I like, like that. Covers. That's actually a good play because the priority on that move is so high you could clank with a with the uh, L. Down smash. Down smash, and that's it. I reads the roll. Wow. The tech. Is... Took command that game. Zelda was like, just took complete control. He moves on. So, good run from Lermans, though. Um, 17th seed, getting 7th here.
Oh god, we have to watch Sora. Oh boy. <laughs> My favorite character.